Welcome back to Brent Tang and Brent Barnett. You know, traditionally Gibraltar has primarily been used for just drums and percussion. But as I've said many times before, we're creating structures, which structures can be used to hold anything. Drums, keyboards that we've done, furniture. I've got a coffee table and a television sitting on a Gibraltar rack at home. Today, we're doing DJs, and I'm building a custom rack for Gibraltar artist DJ Scribble. Let's have a look. We were at the 2014 DJ Expo in Atlantic City demoing our new workstations, the Radius, the Foundation, and a prototype of the Elevate. Well, DJ Scribble came into the booth and he got very excited. He wanted to find out how he could incorporate Gibraltar in his setup. The Elevate was designed to mount two PA speakers on the front left and right legs. But since this is in his home studio, we don't need the speakers. He's already got them positioned already. What he did want us to do though, was he wanted us to customize the height that the table was gonna sit at so that it was more comfortable for him. And he also wanted it to be mobile, so I added casters to it. So let's see how this comes together. First off, let's start by creating our base. We have three 30 inch bases with two rack casters and two connector clamps on each. There are three 43 and a half inch front vertical supports. Each support has two clamps. Now the lower clamp is used to attach the table support bar, whereas the upper clamp is used to attach the 68 inch bar, which creates the length of the workstation. We have two 68 inch cross supports that connect all three panels together from the front side and also on the back side. There are three 30 inch back verticals with connector clamps that were cut down to 26 inches to achieve the customized height. There are three 20 inch cross supports that connect the front and back legs. And on each cross support, there are two rubber feet these feet are what actually support the tabletop. One of the beautiful things about this workstation is that it comes with memory locks. Memory locks allow you to pull the entire thing apart and put it back together in the exact same way it was before. So you never lose your placement. So now since the frame is done, all we need to do is add the tabletop and the second shelf so we can have his drum machine and his laptop mounted. So here's a completed workstation. All that is needed is some gear. What I did was I took a 70 inch tabletop and I cut it in half because 70 inch tabletop is way too long to carry around. I took the two halves and I hinged it in the middle so that he could fold it up and carry it wherever he needs to go. Now the shelf is actually a piece of plywood that I laminated and on the underside I have the GEMC clamps which is the electronic mounting arms. I just drilled right into the plywood and connected to the top rail. The really cool thing about attaching this shelf to the rails is that I get to position this shelf at whatever angle I need along this bar. That's it, thanks for watching you guys. I just showed you guys another application that Gibraltar can be used in other than other instruments. We got it in the DJ world now. DJ Scribble is gonna love this because it's customized to the way he needs for it in order to do his job the best way he can. Plus, it's gonna look sick in his studio and on stage and in his living room. See you guys next time.